Hello tech friends, today we're going to look at another Crash Magazine tape. This one is from February 1990 and it features four games, Eskimo Eddie, Apache Gold, Jason's Gem and Egghead. So let's get this tape out, we'll get it loaded and we'll take a look. Okay, here we are with the magazine itself, Crash Magazine. Hey, it's only £1.70 from February 1990. Got a note here, Codemasters CD Games Pack. Does it really work? CDs? Games on CDs for the ZX Spectrum? Uh, Dandare 3 is Virgin's Pilot of the Future a winner? There's been three Dandare games? This is a revelation, this cover. Tips and Maps Galore, Arcade Action, Budget Bonanza, Winner Tank... Win a tank from US Gold? That should be front and centre, shouldn't it? That's amazing. Okay, uh, right, well, let's dive into this magazine. First of all, let's find out about that tank. It's right at the back. Scroll, 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 scroll. Here we are. It's really heavy, man. You'll say tanks a lot when you win a fabby US Gold access prize. A whole tank. I can't believe it. Win a ruddy great tank. A tank must be won. Right, let's just dig into this a little bit. The first prize is a Wizzo remote control tank. And just think of the endless fun you can have with that. Well, I was thinking of the endless fun I could have with a real tank, actually. Uh, well, I mean, calls cost 25p a minute, so they probably couldn't afford the, the whole tank. Uh, right, okay, let's whiz our way back up to the ooh, third page, is it? Page five. This is where they start talking about the items on the cover tape. Eskimo Eddie is the first one. Mega Shivarama game from Ocean. It's the game that makes you put on your thermals. Indeed it is, because this addictive arcade adventure is set in the Arctic. It says Arctic there. Uh, or is it the Antarctic? You see, it's a tad confusing as Eskimo Eddie features both polar bears and penguins. And as you all should know, polar bears live up north and penguins down south. This fact goes some way to explain why polar bears don't scoff penguins. Uh, I thought it was because they, uh, you know, they couldn't, uh, couldn't get the wrappers off. <laughs> Rubbish. Eskimo Eddie is a two-part arcade game. In the first part, a bit like an icy frogger, you, Eskimo Eddie, must rescue Percy Penguin three times. He's at the top of the screen and you're at the bottom. So that's frogger, that part. And then the second part, it says the screen is filled with ice blocks and a maze forms as some ice blocks disappear. Uh, as usual in Pengo games, I is that must be the type of game where you're trying to get rid of all the blocks. Is that what Pengo is? Percy can push the white ice blocks around the screen in the hopes of squashing the snowbugs or melt the ice to let him pass. Uh, the edges of the screen may be electrified and any snowbug touching the edge becomes dazed and can be run down. Squelch! Okay, enough talking about Eskimo Eddie. Let's give it a go. Here it is. Ocean presents Eskimo Eddie. Let's go for two for the old Kempston interface. And here I am at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if I just move down, there we go. You can see my smiling face. I'm a happy Eskimo. Um, up I go. Just got to avoid these. I think it said they were ice holes. Uh, holes, holes in the ice. I suppose maybe I'm walking on the ice. Not sure. Okay, right. One penguin in the bag. Uh, that polar bear. The animation on the polar bears is pretty cool. And I like the fact they've got them running at different speeds that's very cool and let's get the penguin again there he is he's with me now look at us we're like a dancing uh, duo a bit like the cheeky girls uh, probably the inspiration for this uh, or maybe this inspired the cheeky girls <laughs> what uh, okay right up we go and we just got to get the old penguin Percy come on Percy um, for the last time okay got to be careful because that penguins the, the polar bear's gonna pop out there he goes okay we're doing it we're doing it here we go and then we're on to the second part where it draws the maze and this bit has confused me somewhat so i'm the penguin all right and I can go around and kill these little snow bugs, but not for long, because I think they 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 come they keep coming back. So I don't know if I'm supposed to just be trying to get a super high score or or what or clear all the blocks. Not sure. 
Um, but I haven't been able to get past like one screen in this. Uh, it's very difficult. I'd like to blame the controls, but I think we all know it's me. So I can push these blocks around. Um, and that, there we go. I get 400 points for that. A bargain. Um, has he come back? Oh, there's only three of them now. Ah, is that... And then what's happened to him? Yeah, well, he's come back and now his friend's back. Hmm, not sure. Anyway, that is Eskimo Eddie, where you get to play as a penguin in the second part of the game. Um, let's take a look at the next game in the magazine. Okay, this one is called Apache Gold, and there's a dollar sign. Warm the cockles of your heart with Incentive's Gold Medallion Adventure. Winter, eh? Who needs it? It's cold, wet, and utterly miserable. Bobble hats, ahoy! Ooh, ooh, if only we could take a trek under the blazing sun of America's Wild West. But you can, because you are lukewarm, lonesome cowboy. Lonesome, because not having a dime to your name, everyone hates you for never buying a round at the saloon. Okay, there's a bit of backstory. Essentially, you're trying to find some gold that you think is in a nearby camp that's run by Apaches, okay, um, and it's a text adventure. So we're going to have to type in commands like north and south and east and west and pat the horse and feed the horse and stroke the horse. And it says over here, to get you started, if you're finding it a trifle difficult to get into Apache Gold, have a look at these cryptic clues to give you some pointers. Talk to the Indian and find his dread. Scare him to death if he can't see your head. Let's find out if that ends up being a useful clue when we play Apache Gold. Here we are, we start the game staring at the back of a horse, but the best back part of the horse, the back of the head. <laughs> uh, little ears, he's got a little little mane there. Wonderful. You are in the back of your wagon on a wild open plain. The mountain trail lies ahead. You fill your lungs with the rich smell of the tall wild grass and horse droppings. Cough! Uh, you can also see a bag of oats. Reins? Uh, and reins. Uh, what, what now then, partner? So it's kind of prompting me like a an old-timey uh, gold prospector uh, in the Wild West. Uh, so let's get oats. We might need to pick those oats up, mightn't we? I uh, reckon the horse would rather do that. Okay, well, let's give oats to horse. Ooh. Chomp slurp munch. The classic noises a horse makes when he's eating oats. And then, well, we've got to get this thing moving. Now we've fueled our engine. Uh, we can take the reins. You can't do that. Pull reins. Uh, what about... And I don't know how I figured this out because I can't remember where this is written. Flick reins. Okay. Horse clicks its heels. Clip, clop, clip. You are trotting slowly along the trail. What now then, partner? Okay, well, can we go north? Or maybe we can speed up? Didn't like the direction. Um, oh, he says, you can't do that. You hear the sounds of some more horses. Who's from somewhere? Um, okay, this could be trouble, couldn't it? Uh, hide? Rubbish. Uh, the wagon is being attacked. Looks like Apaches. I was just going about my day. Uh, those pesky Apaches. Um, and now we've got a change of scene. You are huddled up in one corner of a small wigwam. The only way out is through an open flap. You can also see an Indian guard and a large blanket. Right, let's take that blanket. And let's... Uh, oh, I spelt it wrong. Uh, what's one of those? Uh, with a K, there we go. Got it, that's done. And then we uh, talk to the guard. Talk to guard. Um, get ready for some cultural insensitivity. Guard says, white man, he stay put. Okay, uh, right, uh, but it said something about uh, what he's afraid of. If I put a oh, wear blanket. <laughs> Indian guard screams, ah, um, great white spirit, I'm um off. And okay, he runs off and you escape. Th thanks. Uh, skill. Um, you are standing in the centre of the Apache settlement. Rough tracks lead north, south, east and west. There's a deathly quiet in the air. You can also see a totem pole, a wooden sign. What now then, partner? Let's try going um, east. 
Uh, let's see. You are in the horse enclosure near the eastern side of the encampment. A now familiar smell seems stronger here. Paths lead north, west and south. You can also see a pile of horse manure. <laughs> Your trusty old wagon. My wagon's here. Hey, that's great. Can I use the wagon? Uh, you can't do that. Can I pick up horse manure? Oh, we've reached a new low, haven't we? I can't do that either. Get manure with your bare hands. Thank you kindly, but no siree. <laughs> uh, okay, so what happens if we go south from here? Oh, we're, hey, look at that background. You've entered the sacred Indian spirit fo forest. Sunlight pierces the thick foliage. The trees thin out to the north. Uh, south, the ground strangely shimmers as though unreal. Oh, let's keep going south. I'm probably going to die. Um, suddenly you are spirit. You are spirit and floating above your abandoned body below. Seen from up here, you wonder if it might be best left there. You can also see the great pearly wigwam flap. The great white spirit. What is... What is... Can I, can I talk to the spirit? The great white spirit says to enter um great pearly wigwam flap and appear at a um, mountain base on your map. Say to me um sacred words of old and seek um chief's grave that contains the gold. Hey, it rhymed. Uh, I don't know what sacred words are. Uh, we could go on and on playing games like this, um, but let's skip on to the next one and see what that's like. That wasn't too bad, though. That was OK. OK, here is... Egghead, the next one, but this was the last game on the tape, but uh, they've squeezed it into this page in the magazine, so we'll play this one next. Another Brill power tape game by Jonathan Caldwell. My word, eggs are in favour at the moment, aren't they? We've had Dizzy, and now here's another poultry production. Egghead. Well, it makes a change from all that turkey left over from Christmas, doesn't it, viewers? Viewers? Readers. Come on. Uh, platform leaping and bounding ahoy. Indeed, 40 screens of precision jumping. Take Egghead through 40 deadly screens and collect all the items littered about the place. Egghead can only progress to the next level once all the objects are picked up. Okay, let's give this one a go. Let's check your game out, my friend. J for joystick. Here I am. I'm the little egg dude, as you can see. And uh, what's my jump button? Fire. Okay, here we go. Jumping around. Right, let's go and pick up some of these keys. Um, I think I remember there being sound in this, uh, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. But that's... it's not the end of the world. Uh, I can make the sounds for you. So we've got our lives at the top of the screen, which I'm rapidly losing. Um, and I think the circle in the top left-hand corner of the screen is a timer. Um, oh, careful. Oh, come on now, silly egg. Um, it's... He does look a lot like Dizzy, I have to say. Let's pick up those keys. Lovely stuff. Right. This is my nemesis, this strange object. Oh, careful. There we go. We're free. We're free. Okay. These these next ones hopefully are a little bit easier to get. So, yeah, he looks a lot like Dizzy. You can see the timer going down now. Um, and, uh, it, I mean, it's it's your classic pick-up keys. Although I can't see a door. There's another one. And there he goes. Okay, there we go. First level complete. Very important when you make a game that the first level is dead easy. That's not something that always happens in uh, in games. Certainly not on the ZX Spectrum, I'll tell you that. A lot of them would... Oh, game over. Rubbish. Should we have another crack at that? Let's have another go. Uh just pop in here and pick these up this one's just going to work this this time right so you get 100 points per key uh, this is this is going to be this would be going to be an excellent run excellent run oh rubbish um and there we go another key in the old bag oh that's a bit of a big jump he can't stand a jump too high yeah i mean i wonder why i mean did this person did jonathan capitalize on dizzy or uh had maybe he'd he'd made this already or maybe it's just an easy shape to draw he's got the legs all working very nicely he's nailed it okay we'll just pop and get these next keys here beep this is me making the sound effects for it there you go you see beep 
Okay, right, second level. Ooh, I mean, I haven't completed the second level. Just so you know that I've found this quite difficult indeed. This spike above is very close to the old the old head. Um, oh, I know I've died. Well, anyway, you get the idea. And actually on this screen, you'll see uh, you've got to pick up all these keys, of course. But this last one here, well, you're going to die as soon as you pick it up. So you've got to make sure that is the last one that you grab. OK, that is Egghead. Let's have a look at our final game. And our final game is on the next page, but just enjoy for a moment the Chase HQ advert there. Look at that. What's that? Some sort of Lamborghini or something? Um, that looks amazing. I mean, it says it's on the Spectrum, Anstrand, Commodore, Atari ST and Amiga, and you get very excited when you saw these screenshots, but of course they were not for the Spectrum version. Those Actually, those ones might well be the arcade ones. Um, right, let's move on to the next page. Here we are, Jason's Gem. Mastertronic puts Jace in space. I, I've got to say, the writers really uh, working outside the box with what little they had. Who is this Jason Chappie? Is he the internationally famous pop star? Jason Donovan. Is he of the Argonauts and the Golden Fleece et al? Oh, a bit of Greek and a bit of Latin. Uh, or is it Jason Ramsbottom, a space adventure who has misplaced his gem? Mm, it's the third Jace, actually, which is just as well as he's the one in this groovy game. Uh, I'm just, for a moment, I'm just drawn by this face over here on the left-hand side for Championship Golf. Uh, looks kind of like one of those Dali um, AI-generated faces. Uh, still, probably quite difficult to draw, uh, so I cannot be too critical. Uh, even Jason's looking at him, thinking, oh, I'm in the wrong game. Uh, Mastertronic, who originally published Jason's Gem, relate Jason's tale in rhyme. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Uh, the epitaph inscribed on Jason's tomb does not speak of his eventful life, but of his careless doom. On embarking his mission, he was given chances for, but the gem was undisturbed for he needed somewhat more. How sad a tale of failure for one so close to glory, but you could rewrite the history of this story. Oh dear, it is painful. It is painfully obvious. It is not. Uh, mm, uh, it is not. Mm. Uh, why Mazatronic uh, into poetry branched out not? Oh, very good. Good. Well done. Okay. Right. Look, I'm just going to dive into this game and I'll explain it as we go. Here we are, Jason's Gem. It's actually got instructions here. If I press five, uh, it gives you the instructions, which is great. How many games uh, at this point would have had actual instructions within the game itself? Jason is wandering about in space, wondering where his name, uh, where his next cosmic meal is going to come from when his attention is caught by a small, suspicious-looking cargo which is orbiting a nearby planet. He decides to pick up the cargo. You control Jason as he tries to pick up the cargo and in his following adventures, as use these keys. Left and right, space is fire or jump. And Q is quit. Space key has no effect during the first stage. Okay, let's give it a go. And here I am. So I'm just trying to... I messed that up. You've you got to try and land on this bit of, uh, I mean, cargo, I guess. It requires a bit of imagination. I like the... Um, I like the design of the ship, though, the way it's sort of spinning around. I think that's very cool. Is it gonna? Nope, not gonna let me land on this thing, is it? I think this this part is supposed to be very simple. <laughs> um, and oh, I, I haven't been able to do that either. Okay, not a great start. Um, and look, it, it, it's the same poem that we had in the magazine. It's a, but this extra bit here. So press the fire key for Jason's reincarnation, and then you may begin a brand new mission embarkation. <laughs> that is. Great. Um, oh, what strange set of names in the high score table there. Brilliant. Right, let's have another go at that. Obviously, the pressure of doing this while being recorded is, is too much. It's just too much. Okay, we landed it. The cargo bears a message, a tale of long lost treasure. To start your gallant search for it, press the fire key at your leisure. Okay, right. So, we've now, I have the ability to... Um, fire as I slowly descend. Now I can only press left and right um, and I get a bonus every time I clear one of these levels. So I'm just shooting these balls out of the way so that I can 
clear my path as I go down at a very steady rate. As you can see on the right hand side, we've got an altitude meter and we've got the number of lines we've got and we've got, oh dear, I was too eager there. I probably could have got through that gap anyway, so um, it just got to be a little bit careful. Can I actually, oh, I scraped the side there, I scraped the side. And you can see my score going up um, and just shooting these look like little atoms out of the way, just slip through here. Another bit of cash in the attic there, bit of a bonus. Okay, got it. Oh, I didn't see it, because it can only fire one um, off the screen at the at a time, one through the screen at a time. Um, you can't keep firing repeatedly if you fired one shot and it's still traveling through the screen. So there we go. Hit the top of the high score table where all the other scores were zero, which is how I like to make my way to the top of the high score table by default. Um, let's just have one more go at that. Oh, can I land it? No, can't land it. Uh, there's, there's a nice picture of a moon there in the background. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Gotta, gotta land it. There we go. Landed. Fantastic. Okay, now we're off on our adventure into the depths as we search for Jason's gem, I guess. It's not a great title, is it? Um, hey, but I haven't seen Jason's gem. Maybe it's a particularly good one. Okay. <laughs> All the gems in the world. Oh, that's confidence, isn't it? Look at that. Okay. Just easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. Oh, I can barely breathe. It's so exciting. Oh, just slipping through there. One extra key press to the left would have been certain doom. And I wouldn't have made it through to this next room. Oh, the rhyming is catching. Oh, too close. There we go. Nice, clear. Do I get points for each one I shoot? Well, it's too late to find out now. But look at the altitude. It's really going down. And, okay, now I've got to try and land on that, I guess. Oh, there's no chance, there's no chance. Oh, okay, that must mean I need to, can I do it if I'm this close? Oh, no way. Oh, I did it, I did it. I'm, a, hey, I'm a little dude, I'm a little dude. Okay, I haven't got this far before, so this is very exciting for me. <laughs> oh, a big bonus. Cave one. R oh, what? Okay, right, well, th okay, this has gone to the dogs. Look at this. What's going to happen if I if I fall? Will I die? Oh, no. Uh, I guess I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is that is a classic experience with playing uh, old computer games. You get to a point you've never got to before and you're on your last life, so you don't get to have a look at it anymore. But anyway, weird old... Oh, I can't even press delete. We're toot toot. Weird tech, old tech, old, old, old. I think that's my full name. There we are. Uh, almost double the score. That is the final game. Jason's Gem. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I think maybe the uh, egg one was the best. Uh, egghead. That was a that was a cracking oh rubbish um good game okay hope you enjoyed it i'll see you again soon